More breaking news from the National Football League here on CBS Sports HQ. Alvin Kamara has been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Philadelphia Eagles with an E injury. His second straight game on the sidelines after missing last weekend's loss to the Titans. Kamara put in a limited practice on Wednesday but did not participate in Thursday or Friday's practice. New Orleans will also be without starting offensive tackles Teron Armstead and Ryan Ramchick for Sunday's game in Philadelphia. For more on this, Fantasy Football Today's Dave Richard joins us. Dave, obviously not ideal to have Kamara out for a second straight week. No, it's terrible. But Mark Ingram has filled in very admirably. Last week he was great. In the two games that he's played with Trevor Simeon, 12 targets, 9 catches, almost 90 yards. So he's a factor in the passing game. He's getting a lot of work in the run game. It's a good offensive line. And it's a tricky matchup against Philadelphia, but I think any running back that's getting as much work as Mark Ingram has been getting certainly warrants must-start fantasy usage, and that's the territory that Mark Ingram is in. I would have liked Kamara a little bit higher. You can see I've got him ranked at 14th, Jeremy. I would have liked Kamara a little bit higher than Ingram, but Ingram has really looked the part over the last couple of games with New Orleans, specifically last week, just the fact that he was so involved with the run with the pass. I think it's going to continue. But fantasy managers who have Alvin Kamara and didn't have Mark Ingram on their fantasy team, they need to go out right now, see if Jeff Wilson is on the waiver wire. Jeff Wilson is a running back expected to replace Elijah Mitchell. A lot of math here. Follow along. Expected to replace <laughs> Elijah Mitchell as the lead running back for San Francisco okay. in their matchup against Jacksonville. So if you want a running back that's not Mark Ingram, but maybe gets a workload similar to Mark Ingram and is actually not a bad guy, not a bad running back, and in a great offense, Jeff Wilson available in 44% of CBS Sports Leagues has to be rostered right now. Honestly, you should get Jeff Wilson whether you're loaded at running back or you've got Alvin Kamara and you're absolutely desperate. Mm -hmm. Former member of the North Texas Mean Green, Jeffrey Wilson. That's exactly right. So with Mark Ingram, though, I mean, his production's been good, but if Kamara is sidelined for, say, another game or another couple of weeks, Dave, I mean, do, do you see Ingram as being a guy who can carry that load for more than three, four games? I think at some point he will wear down a little bit. He's 30 years old, over 30 years old, yes. so he could wear down. But he's also been a gamer his entire career. So anytime he's been given an opportunity, he's done well with it. I would continue to rely on Mark Ingram until the wheels fall off. And I think that's going to be the Saints' plan as well. So what's your level of concern then with Kamara? Oh, you've got to be, you've got to be significantly concerned if he got in a limited practice on Wednesday and then didn't make it to the end of the week and has already been ruled out, that means something might have happened in that practice on Wednesday that would make me wonder what it is. What's going on with Alvin Kamara? Why isn't he playing? How soon will he be back? Fantasy managers like me, I've got Kamara on my teams, and I don't have Mark Ingram on those teams, and I kind of wish I did. This is where you've got to start making sure you've got a plan, not just for this week. You have to have a plan for this week, but also rest of season just in case he ends up going on IR, missing three weeks. I don't want that to happen. There's no word of that coming down yet, but it is an option for the Saints, especially if something did go wrong with Alvin during that fateful Wednesday practice. And you're, hope, you're hoping that you're in a league that your trade deadline has maybe been extended a little bit. Kamara, maybe till Sunday, right. Kamara may be a guy that you, you move away from at this point. Well, if you trade him now, you're not going to get anything close to fair value for Alvin. Uh, in the team that would look for Alvin Kamara, let's say I'm four and six. Okay, maybe I went up against the Patriots defense on Thursday night. I'm <laughs> staring at four and seven. I don't want anything to do with that. I've, and Alvin Kamara is my best tradable asset, even though I know I'm not going to get fair value for him. I'd go to the team that's the current number one seed in my league, and I'd say, here's Alvin Kamara. Can you give me a couple of good starters? Not just starters, but good players in exchange. And maybe one of them being a running back. Please, that would be very nice. That would help me out. That's the type of team, a team that's focused. They've got eight wins already. They've got nine wins. They're headed to the fantasy playoffs. That team would love to sacrifice a win or two in the regular season. Right in order to get Alvin Kamara on their fantasy roster for the playoff run, they're probably going to win the league if you do that, but at least you'll have a chance to help out. Yeah, maybe you can get the Patriots defense. Well, it's a little late in for exchange. that now. In exchange. You got a time machine? I could use one of those for Hey, the August. Patriots defense scored 70 points in a league that I was in last night with yeah, the shutout. So, that's unbelievable. Uh, Dave Richard joining us here to talk about Alvin Kamara being ruled out for week 11 uh, for the NFL season. As Dave mentioned, Mark Ingram is a guy that if you don't have him, uh, you know, uh, RIP to your fantasy season if you're relying on Kamara. But 